What's going on all my hopefuls? This is JC Flames and today I'm going to show you how to upload a song to Ditto Distribution. In case you guys have not checked it out before, I did do another video talking about how to sign up and what Ditto Distribution is and how it can be beneficial for you. Alright, so let's go. From the town I like nothing when I'm hopeful slip A small city or something but mostly no one forgets On the outskirts of where I've been dreaming since a kid Thought I was cursing never see a radio hit A grammy the industry or something even close Miles outside of Alright so before I do move forward Please make sure if you have not checked it out already Please make sure that you check out the how to sign up to Ditto Distribution And what exactly it is I do go over it in that video It should pop up somewhere up here all right, so now let's move forward. All right, so this is how to upload a song to Ditto Distribution. If you are already at this point, that means you already decided to sign up. You already decided to move forward with Ditto as your distribution. All right, so one of the things it is going to ask you for already, uh, when you do go to the dashboard, I believe it's going to look like this. So this is how it's going to look with the standard release. As soon as you log in and whatnot, it just already offers you the music part, right? So for the artists, you are going to want to, as soon as you pick your plan, or even if you haven't yet, it's telling you my plan artist. So this is where you would add yourself, your stage name, all that. Let's just say for the sake of this video, it's just me. I'm the artist and I am signing up. So of course it would be JC Flames include artist and plan yes and that would be the plan that i have the artist image of course just make sure that you choose an image that is going to look really really good all right and also what i like to tell artists is please make sure this is the same profile picture that you have on some of your social media and whatnot so that people excuse me and whatnot so that people really recognize who it is when it comes to uh anything with your platforms and your your distribution right um, you just never know it's a lot better to me to have that there so with me i do have this profile picture there right i'm gonna upload it right here all right so apple music id you don't usually have that so unless so for the sake of this video this is just for anyone who has not released any music through a distributor yet. Let's just say that you're already signing up, you're new to any distribution, right? This is your first distributor. You won't already have it. So that's why it says enter ID if you already have one. So if you are switching distributors, you would put that here. If this is your first distributor, you will not have anything to put on these two fields, right? Artist bio, of course, you're gonna wanna put something there as well as the website URL that you have. I highly recommend you guys getting a actual website built so that people have an ultimate destination to go to even if you are releasing music through your distributor and you have music out through Spotify, let's say it's later on in the future through Apple Music, all that stuff, it's out and you have social media, they still need a website so that people will be able to keep up with you, right? And you wanna put updates on your website. And if you ever wanna sell anything aside from your streams, you can sell merch on your website. I highly recommend it. That's how I make some of my money. Sell your merch through there, sell, sell exclusives, like, oh, I have this uh, one song that's only through my website, download it through there, and then you can collect information. There's just so many opportunities you can do with your own website, I highly recommend it. And that's your own internet landscaping property that you can own, right, for yourself, all right? So Facebook URL, of course, if you have a Facebook, put it on there, as well as Twitter. It's just the handle, that means you're at, and then you put your, you know, your actual username, um, or not username, but the actual name that you have on your social media. So same thing with Instagram, YouTube, SoundCloud, all that. Let's just say you did that, all right, you move forward and you have, again, it creates the artist for you. You have that already right here. You're the only artist on this plan. Then you would go to music, right? And this is where it would ask you, you want a standard release or uh, electronic dance music release? Now they do have some perks for that and they have some networking stuff uh, when it comes to electronic and dance music. If you guys want me to make a video about that, anyone who's watching this, please comment below. But for the sake of this basic tutorial of Ditto, we would click on Create New. 
and you would do the release title, right? So for me, I'm gonna use, use the last song that I released. It was called If I Were Signed. If you guys have not checked that out, please check it out above here. It'll pop up somewhere. It's my last song that I did create and I put it out. It's produced by After Sleep and written by me, of course, and um, you guys will definitely love it if you love rap music, right? So after that, it will give you some of these other options to put on there, right? So copyright holder, I have my own LLC, right? I have my own LLC. I treat my music like my business. So I will definitely put the anonymous LLC because that is my LLC for releasing music, right? Copyright year, for the sake of this video, let's just say it was this year. Production year, now that would be through After Sleep who did produce the song. So I could put After Sleep right here. I believe it's all capitalized, so it's After Sleep. And then the production year, let's say he made it in 2021, the actual beat. Record label, I am independent. And only usually just gives you this option with this drop down, but you can also create a new label. Most likely it'll want you to put it right here. There you go. If you have an independent label, this is a different plan, then you would put that there. Release artists, uh, that's just if you have, let's say your song was produced and written by you, but someone else released it um, from a compilation or anything like that, you would put that there. So right here, of course, it's going to tell you uh, which of your plan artists do you want to release under. So if you have different plans that you sign up to, let's just say you have your own music that you're releasing and you have a record label, ind independent record label that you're building and you have other artists on there. So it's just asking you which one do you want to sign it up as, right? Or which plan do you want to use? And it's telling you. And if you want to add more artists, there is an option right here. Uh, regular uh, um, convert to various artists again if you're doing a compilation album or anything like that create new plan for an artist is just trying to upsell you and trying to lead you in that direction if you're trying to do multiple releases let's say for that same day the second step you would do is release artwork right and it just gives you the stipulations right here you guys 3000 by 3000 when it comes to the pixels please don't let it be blurry Things of that nature now I'm gonna go ahead and go to my cover arts and let's see if I believe this should work when it comes to the single cover art if not I will show you guys what to do if it is not the right size so where is if I were signed I believe it should be somewhere in here if not then it's probably oh there it is okay missing it so we're gonna go ahead and click on upload all right, so it does say the minimum width is 3000, right? So what you would do to fix this is you would go to another tab and I've went over this before, but I will put the description, put the link in the description below. So I love images, uh, a separate website that I do use to resize my images. So what I would do is just click on this, select images, click here. Notice it says 1400 by 1400 right here. So it's not the correct size, right? So I want to resize it. And here I would put 3000 and 3000, it, it auto populated. So it's switching from 1400 by 1400 to 3000 by 3000, right? And then I would scroll down here. Can't really see it. it says resize image. You click on that blue button and it resizes it for you, right? And as soon as it does it, it sometimes takes a few seconds or whatnot. See, and then it popped up. It's already downloaded. It's right here on my desktop. It's going to pop up awesome so let's go ahead and drag this to my desktop and let's go back to the other tab and here is where i will click on select file go to desktop where it actually uploaded right here boom and that should work right and as soon as it pops up you're pretty much good to go you guys um it's kind of being slow here there we go popped up all right so the next step release genres this is where you put in your first genre secondary genre all of that stuff right so for me it's just hip-hop there's no blend of pop or no blend of R&B in there or anything like that so I can just do the primary genre leave secondary genre and for the language it is in English right so you guys can't see it scooting it over but there's a next right here and as soon as you go to the next one it's gonna show you right here this is where you you type in the tracks and made it metadata, excuse me. 
Uh, so you would click on select files and let's go ahead and go to production, right? We're going to click on that and we're going to go ahead and go to, I believe I have it on, notice how I have all these folders. I highly recommend that you guys please stay organized. Uh, click on there and then I would click on release but not attached to an album or an EP, right? Um, and if I were signed, should be somewhere in here. Let me just go ahead and find it. Um, it should be right here, right here. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and it's going to upload it, right? As soon as it's done uploading, uh, sometimes it does give you the file requirements right here. It does say the file format must be a WAV file or an MP3, right? WAV is preferred. Um, artist name I did matches with uh, by JC Flame. See, it's telling you right here. Do you want to auto populate this metadata? So click yes because that was the previous step that I was telling you guys, right? So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that it says it, and for some reason it's not all auto-populating, but I'm gonna click edit, and it's just gonna tell you right here, here's the track uh, title, track mix version, track artist, and that's probably because I didn't, haven't chosen an actual plan, but for the sake of this video, you guys, let's just say you chose the plan, let's just make sure, you click on edit and just make sure that your artist name is right here and it populates with that plan, as well as the released artist, right? Uh, and it's telling you right here that the AI actually identified it. It's anonymous LLC, authentic print, um, after sleep, it's telling you it's pretty much auto-populating. Here's your ISRC code, so it populated for you. Do you wanna add lyrics? So you can add lyrics if you guys want. Hit me up in the comments below if you wanna see a video on me uh, adding lyrics to Ditto Distribution for your release, if you guys need help on that, right? Now, um, it's telling you right here, uh, does it have explicit content? It does, it does curse. Uh, finish track editing, um, so we would click on that, and then the last thing you want to do is you click on, I understand that it may be rejected, certain stores may reject it depending on the label release, so like if you already released it through another distribution, it may get rejected by certain stores, right? So make sure if you guys are switching distributions, you withdraw that track from your previous distribution and then you re-upload it through here if you're planning on switching distributions, right? Because um, you don't want copies, all right? Uh, platforms do not allow that. So I am authorized to distribute this music, yes. Artist name is correct as well as the song title, whatnot. Covers and copyrighted materials, it's just gonna tell you, continue without uploading copyright documentation. So it's telling you that if you want, you can upload your contracting, your copyright to the audio. So here is where I would upload, because I did buy this beat from After Sleep. So I would upload this right here and I would click on it and upload that actual file, the document of the contract, the digital contract, right? So you're gonna wanna do that right here. It's pretty cool that Ditto's asking for that because they wanna be uh, in control of some of the publishing when it comes to those things, right? Um, so then you would click next. And here's where it's trying to tell me, again, it's trying to sell me on the plan. And for a specific date with pre-release, it's for $40, but as soon as possible, $40. I highly recommend, it's telling you 10 days from now or later. I highly recommend you guys at least wait two weeks, at least, all right? Especially if you're planning on releasing on Spotify. The reason why I say that is because it does take longer for the platforms to receive your song, number one, and number two, Spotify has this cool feature where you pitch your song to them and you can get accepted to their editorial playlists. But it has to be at least two weeks in advance. If it does not, then you will be not considered for any of those editorial playlists for your song to get on, all right? So please, two weeks, all right? I recommend that. So once you set that date, uh, geographic av availability, would you like to add country restrictions? Uh, no, I usually leave that as no. Register for the charts, would you like to register your music? Um, and again, it's just an extra feature that they have for that. Click on next, track pricing, how would you want to charge for this track? So for instance, Apple Music charges. Then you just put medium, I like to keep it at medium. Which stores would you like to distribute to? So this goes along with the plan, it depends on what you guys choose. All stores, I highly recommend, and this is where it gives you a list of stores, which is cool. iTunes, 7 Digital, Facebook, uh, Jooks, Twitch, Instagram, Snapchat, 
I don't really use Snapchat anymore, but it gives you all of these choices, which is pretty awesome. So you can use iHeartRadio, Via Path, all of those, right? And then TikTok, a bunch of those. And then you can just right here, which is pretty much the last one, as uh, should we send this release to new stores automatically? I highly recommend because you guys never know. Let's say TikTok does get banned in the US or in your country, anything like that, and some other platform comes available and it just steals the thunder of TikTok. That happened with Vine back in the day and then TikTok, after Vine died out, TikTok just came and stole the thunder and that was like the new Vine. I would highly recommend you guys actually do that. So you can click on yes, send this release to all new stores. Then you pay, you submit it, and you're good to go. All right, so if you guys have any questions, hit me up in the comments below. Please do not forget to hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that notification bell to stay up to date. I am Jason Flames, and I'm out.